It is a powerful new drama about family, home, and identity in Canada following the 60s scoop. This is what they told us. Save these children. They need good homes. It's a mitzvah. You're not listening to me. That's my father and that's my mother and they loved me. No. This is the new Crave and APTN series, Little Bird. It takes viewers on a journey through Canada's dark history as the title character searches for the hidden truths of her past. Joining us this morning is the show's co-creator and showrunner, Jennifer Podemski, and lead actors, Darla Contois and Lisa Edelstein. Good morning to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. So, Jennifer, we watch as five-year-old Bezeg is taken from her home in Saskatchewan. She is adopted to a Jewish family in Montreal, and you have an intimate connection to to this series as a person who is both Indigenous and Jewish. So how did that influence your approach to this story? It's a big part of the reason why I was interested in telling this story in the first place, um, because of my very, I guess, specific intersection of identity, being Jewish on my dad's side and Indigenous on my mom's side, and she's from Saskatchewan. Uh, so a lot of my own personal kind of identity crisis stuff <laughs> made its way into the show. Um, and I think it's, yeah, it, it's not my own personal story, but a lot of myself is embedded in the narrative. Darla, you play the adult version of the five-year-old uh, character whose name has been changed to Esther when you play her role. Your performance, it is vulnerable, it is haunting. Um, how did you get to that place to, <laughs> to give the authenticity to that character? <laughs> You're tremendous in this. She is. Thank you. Thank you. How did I get to the vulnerable place? Yeah, how did, where did that come from? Well, I think in my life and uh, my career as an actor, I've always strived to be as authentic and honest and truthful as possible. And I believe that every single thing that you do should be done from the heart. So doing this role was very, such a perfect fit for me and what I do. So I'm so thankful to just be here and be a part of it. Lisa, you play the adoptive mother. Her name is Golda. Um, she's a Holocaust survivor. She wants to do good in the world, so there's a really complicated mm -hmm. nuance there. There's a lot of conflict giving, given the harm that the 60s scoop caused. Right. What can audiences expect from her role? I think Golda um, is the vehicle that uh, non-Indigenous audiences can ride with to sort of go from resistance uh, to defensiveness, to acceptance. Um, I, I think it's it was very uh, hard for Golda to hear the truth, but her love for her daughter and her own experience with trauma, being a Holocaust survivor, is what helps her get to the other side to be a supportive and loving parent um, who wants her daughter to have the life that she, she deserves. Jennifer, the story is told in two timelines. We're in the 60s, and we see our, our family there in Saskatchewan, and then we go to the mid-80s, and we see uh, Esther finding the, the truth to her past. Why did you want to tell it in two timelines? What impact does that have on how the story comes across? Well, it's it's actually a very complicated question, so I'll try to make it very simple. <laughs> the, the sort of... Uh, structure of splitting time was a way to inform the story of the period that the the children were taken without addressing the PTSD that Esther was experiencing so that it's not a memory she's not experiencing memories we're just experiencing as an audience two separate timelines that interweave seamlessly to make us feel like there's this embodiment of an experience mm. and throughout the series Esther's PTSD is like separate from the timeline, so we never feel like they're flashbacks. Hmm. There is such a strong reminder of the many things that we need to do better today. Um, thank you for this. Thank you for bringing this truth to our audiences and for telling the story because it needs to be told thank and you. it needs to be visited. Congratulations on thank the series, you, you guys. Thank, thank you, Kelsey. Thank you so much. You can catch the premiere of Little Bird beginning tomorrow on Crave. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.